Hello, welcome to Wednesday's Hump Day Energy Balance. My name is Sue McLaughlin and my practice is Inner Source Living and you can find me at innersourceliving.com. Uh, so today um, I uh, focused in on a few different um, uh, emotions. So today what came up was isolation, the lack of trust of self and other. And so the self part um, is that, am I going to do the right thing? Am I, uh, because we have all these new rules, right? And do I trust myself to, to go out and not put myself in jeopardy? Um, and then other is, do I trust, um, do I trust my teenagers to, to socially distance, right? Or do I trust my, um, the other people at the store to, uh, like, um, to be doing the right thing you know, at home before they come here. Or if you're starting to go back to your office and, or the, the retail store, the non-essential businesses that are starting to open up, have all those people been isolating and doing the right thing? So it's this like trust issue that we, we might, you might be having. You may not even have it at this minute. It's just something that might um, pop up, you know, starting as we start to get back into this world, um, into the new world uh, with different rules. Um, and then physically, the urinary system came up. And so urinary system is um, kidneys and bladder. Uh, it's water element in Chinese medicine. It's th this flushing out. And we want to keep flushing out um, fear. We, you know, any of this angst, this anxiety, these low vibrating emotional um, feelings uh, and maybe belief systems and just kind of so that... Um, because the opposite of fear is empowerment. And, and this session um, is gonna be focused on what might help you become more empowered. Um, you know, and, and some of that is just, I can only do what I can do. And I just have to trust that everybody else is doing the right thing as well. Okay, I will be uh, muscle testing. So my hands might be down here. I'm not fidgety or have a, having a tick. I'm going up and down this body talk, talk protocol chart, uh, and um, yes, and then I ask, and I'll probably ask at the end too, if you find this helpful, please share it with others, friends, family, uh, like, share it on YouTube or on Facebook, uh, just so it gets out um, to somebody that, um, that maybe this would be new to. And if you have any questions, um, you can learn more about me uh, on my website at innersourceliving.com. Okay, got that out of the way. Whew, all right. Okay, so we're gonna start with the adrenals, um, more specifically the left adrenal. So adrenals sit on top of your kidneys. Um, and we were just talking about the urinary system. Uh, uh, and so uh, uh, it's um, focused on um, the orientation. So the, the action of re-entry into um, out of isolation and into the world. Um, and, um, and there's uh, some, per, you know, so that's outside of us. Like, okay, this is outside. I got to figure out how this is going to, how I'm going to combat this world, this war against, um, you know, this virus that, that we keep talking about. How they talk about, they compare all the technology and the changes to like World War II and how things how like things advance. So there's this combative kind of energy, this judgment that we are holding. So you might be choosing to wear a mask and gloves, but somebody else isn't, or, or you're about to reach for something and somebody else just kind of comes in and they're not giving you that space because they're not, that's, they're just maybe not aware or, or they just have a different idea of, of what is going on. So really tampering down that that judgment there that can be, um, and again, that hurts you. It doesn't hurt anybody else. Um, that, that drains you, that keeps you in fight or flight. Um, okay, so that's finished. Um, again, we're making these formulas and then we tap them out. Um, okay, so going with um, right adrenal. So we're connecting the left adrenal. Okay, I do have that right to our right adrenal. And, um, it um, is a physical attribute of the, um, of the right adrenal and the pituitary um, adrenal 
axis. And so that's our stress hormone response. So again, how I was saying, this combativeness can set our stress hormones up. And that just starts to, um, that wears on our body. Uh, and so the more we are going out, we, we don't want that to have a negative effect um, or be stuck in that effect. Um, uh, we're already stressed enough. We don't need to ramp it up. Uh, and then, um, so that's the second link. There's a third link to this formula and is, oh, it's our pituitary. Okay, so we're staying in our endocrines here. Um, and it's the orientation of like a person and um, not a specific person. You might have someone pop up as I describe this, but this is general. So it's, you know, a person in your life uh, or uh, persons in your life. And um, so again, that can be family members, that can be um, someone at the store, it could be coworkers, um, and there's, um, uh, it could be somebody you're watching on TV. Like, why did they do that? Or I don't, I don't agree with that, or, or they're going too far. Like, so it could be, I don't agree they're going far enough, or it could be, I, I don't agree that they're going too far. Um, and so again, judgment, our personal judgment is coming in with that around decisions that I'm making and other people are making. Um, and it's um, what's connecting this, this right adrenal stress response and this pituitary um, judgment um, that's coming up that just feeds that um, because it's a pituitary adrenal stress response, uh, we don't like what we're seeing, um, is the new social protocols. And that everyone might have a different definition of, of that. Um, and so I will say the example with the governor in Ohio, he went, everybody has to have a mask to having a conversation with a mother of, uh, who had as a child has autism and that mask, like that isn't going to fly. Right. So, so, um, it's sort of like everyone has, you know, what's suggested and then what works the best for themselves. And we have to trust that people are making good decisions and not judge them when they're, when they're out. Okay, is there anything else? No, all right. So if you're listening to this and not watching, you can, um, you don't have to put your hands where I put my hands at all. So I'm putting my one arm behind my back to hold the adrenals. You can put it across the, the front and um, across your diaphragm area underneath your breast. Um, with the intention of your adrenals, you can hold between your eyebrows. Woo, I can feel that. Um, and there's, that's the, the intention with the pituitary. Just take some nice, slow, deep breaths. So this, um, this starts to become, um, so we, we want that function to happen appropriately and we wanna make sure it doesn't happen inappropriately um, where we are over responding or that we can get out of that response. We can have an initial response, we can have an initial thought, but we can change our second one. Tapping it in on top of my head, left and right brain together, updating, um, just updating this in the brain and connecting it, saving this information, this, this um, new way of responding in our heart and in our gut and mind for their intuition. So our brain might be like, whoa, what's going on? And then our heart might be like, oh no, I remember that some people can't do the mask. And then my intuition says that, that this is one of those people, they're being responsible. Okay, so I don't have to overreact to protect myself. Okay, so, all right, so this is no longer a priority. I'm gonna move on out of, that, uh, out of the endocrines into um, organs, uh, more specifically the gallbladder. Uh, ooh, and it's an emotion, our emotion of frustration. Um, so our gallbladder and liver are wood element in, in Chinese medicine. Um, and anger is in frustration, resentment, those type of um, uh, charged type emotions um, are associated there. 
So gallbladder is also um, associated with catalyst and courage and taking that first step forward. Um, uh, okay, and so, but just where we're focusing gallbladder and frustration, our frustration. Um, the link, oh, we're going right to a subsession. So it's just a formula that's gonna process out as we are tapping out the main, the primary formula. Um, and it's uh, pathological consciousness with our legs, both legs. Um, in this case, it's the consciousness, um, spiritual meaning, metaphorical, uh, whatever is whatever works for you on this. But it's this moving forward, right? We, you know, we've been standing still in our homes for the most part. Now we're going to be taking steps to move forward, um, and it's with the orientation of activity, but not one specific one. It's, it's the activity of life um, from our past um, and how we're going to navigate and move forward in these activities about going back to work, um, outside the home, um, you know, stores, non-essential stores. Um, and there's some confusion, this, the emotional feeling there of some confusion of Ooh, almost as if, if I step in this direction, am I going to step on a landmine, right? So like, where is it safe to move forward? How is it safe to navigate um, in this world? Um, keeping six feet apart, um, um, you know, what do I touch? To what do I not? Do I use my elbow for, the, for a button? Do I use my, you know, my finger to type in a code, my, my knuckle, um, like at the ATM um, type thing? Um, and so how we're going to navigate this. All right. And that is anchored in our brain. Um, just information for this formula. And uh, okay, so we're done with that. So this is this subsession that's going to process out, helping us navigate the world as we move forward. Uh, okay, so there's a link to the gallbladder. It's lungs. Um, and uh, oh, it's an orientation of time. Um, so, and it's about how doors are starting to open. It's, um, it's time to start to, you know, step outside of our house and maybe outside of our comfort zone. So, you know, I'm talking really specific on this world, but you might be stepping out of your comfort zone in a personal way, whether that's a relationship way, whether that is with um, work, uh, uh, whatever it is, there's this stepping out of it's time to start to open a door, but, um, but it doesn't also at the time it, it still feels like we're holding our breath. Like, you know, I'm just like, especially because this is a respiratory virus. So yeah, so I'm getting a virus, the virus here. So it's like, I still don't feel like I can breathe easy because it's the respiratory part of this virus that, um, seems to be the most challenging from what I understand. Um, I don't claim to be right, 100%. Uh, okay, so, so yes, we have time, this time of like moving forward, opening doors, and the virus, that's all outside of us. Uh, and then uh, personally, it's um, release. So like the gallbladder releases um, bile to help digestion, lungs release. We can't control and hold our breath. We have to release our breath in order to keep breathing and moving forward. And so it's time to start to, to cleanse and purify um, uh, uh, what is uh, the mourning, the grief and mourning of what used to be. Uh, I used to not have to think about things that I just did. Like I just went to the store. Um, I just got in my car. I didn't worry about wiping things down. Um, and so um, where it's safe and not safe kind of thing. Um, uh, and, um, and I just thought about, oh, this just came to my thoughts. I just thought about moving forward in my career. I just was in auto, you know, auto mode, unconscious, like, oh, and I do my work and I come home. And now I maybe have a different perspective or I have a different perspective on a relationship. Um, how do I want to move forward? Uh, maybe going to see people we care about, but we can't hug them. That's kind of this morning. Ugh. Uh, it hurts me to think that like, I, you know, I'm hoping to see family soon and, but it's still going to be distant and I can't give my brother a birthday hug. So that kind of stinks for me and hopefully for him, but I mean, you know what I'm saying? Um, okay. 
So that is the end of this formula. Gallbladder to lungs. Uh, you can put your hand, both hands on your lungs. You want to just put your hand um, underneath the, your, on your right ribs, diaphragm area underneath that breast. That could be with the intention of gallbladder. I'm going to hold both here for a second. But to just really connect. <coughs> Whoa, there's a little bit of a release, right, with the lungs there. Whoa, let's get that grief out. Um, knowing I'm still going to have a heart connection. This is what's coming to me, that I'm still going to have a heart connection when I see family. Um, even if I don't have a touch connection, that the two can still exist. All right, so I'm gonna start tapping on our, on our, my brain for all of us. Yeah, just tapping that in. This new way, the frustration of not um, maybe having contact or behaving or reacting in ways we used to with with our world, with our coworkers, with our family that we haven't been in isolation with. Not being able to shake hands with somebody new you met. And I'm just gonna tap this in in our, we've been safe, um, in our gut mind, our intuition. Uh, okay, deep breathing. That's good. Um, all right, so it's no longer priority. I um, I don't always have this, so you may or may not be feeling something, but I actually have like a very gentle tingling sensation. <laughs> um, uh, just even over my heart and through my arms and actually through my legs. So, um, so you might have re uh, reactions, reactions, responses, um, to these sessions this way. You might be um, evoked to shed tears, you might yawn, you might cough, you might just go right into a deep sleep, um, you might have more energy. Those are all appropriate. You might be thirsty, you might be hungry, or the opposite. Those are all appropriate reactions or, um, or responses, I want to say, to this session of, or any of these sessions that you have, whether it's with me or another practitioner. Your body is recalibrating. And so just honor it. Um, again, you can play this um, every day if you want. You can play it at different times of the day. Um, just try and give yourself um, a break, a place to get away so you can listen to it. This is a short one, um, at least as far as the number of formulas. Um, and again, if it helped you, please share it. Um, either share the email, share it, like and share it on um, Facebook or Instagram, whatever, whatever your platform is with friends. All right. Okay. Thank you. And um, I will see you next week. Take care.